Hey, this is Mr. One Two Three here, and I'm gonna teach you how to make a rag doll. So let's make a cylinder. I'm gonna drag it out on the top view. And I'm gonna adjust the heights. So I'm gonna put 25 for height. Oh, no, that's bad. Okay, I'm just gonna put 40 for height and uh, I think 10 for radius is fine. So put the height segments to um, I want to say four. No, I'm just gonna adjust the height. Uh, yeah, put the height segments to four and put the height at 50. Okay. Now, if you look on the edges, uh, it, that's just basically how much room we're gonna need. So I'm gonna add a texture now. I just have a basic yellow texture that I'm gonna add so I can export it and put it into Gary's mod or whatever you have desired. So just a plain yellow material. And I'm gonna rename the cylinder to just tutorial and I'm gonna convert it to edible poly. Okay, um, now we're going to add bones. So go to create and then go to systems, click bones. I'm just going to adjust the width and height, that way it's not too big. And we'll wait for my crappy computer to load. Okay, now click at the bottom, click once again. This is all left clicks, you know. Click again at the second height segment, click again at the third. Click again to end it. Now, see that little top thing? We're going to delete that, so just press uh, delete. Okay. So, we're done with the bones. Or just create them, that is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add the skin modifier. That way, we can attach all our bones to our mesh, poly, whatever you want to call it. Or just cylinder. I don't care. You can do it two ways. So. You can do it the way I'm going, just go to modifiers, animation, then click skin. And then you want to envelop the skin. Click add. Select all the bones. Alright, so you can just select all of them. And we're going to go to bone 1. Actually, I'm going to change the name of bone 1 to root bone, because that's going to be our root. It's the base, um, however you want to say it. Basically, that's not going to move. It's just our base bone, our root bone. Okay, so now um, we want to go down to the little weight tool with the wrench thing. Click it and go back to our where it says all our bones. Click root. Now we're going to highlight all our vertices. Press 1. Now we're going to highlight the joint vertices. Press point, I just, yeah, point 0.5. See how it's turning yellow? That's because we have a joint. Okay. I'm going to go to bone 2 or bone 3. Press point 0.5 on the joints. Oh, wait. Whoops. Messed up right there. Alright. Just ignore this right here. I messed up. Alright. So on bone 3, if you look, we're in between those two. On bone 2, we're in between these two. Two yellow. And on the last bone, 0.5 for the joint, and for the rest, it's just base, so we're going to click 1. Okay, we're now uh, done setting that up. I'm just going to double check. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to show you how it works. How it, the root bone just rotates the whole model. It's the base. It's the root. Okay. Um, now if we rotate on the other bones, it moves the mesh with it. It moves the poly it moves the cylinder with it see how we can uh, move it around kind of like a ragdoll or exactly like a ragdoll actually okay so this is now rigged or set up or however you want to call it so uh, we can export now click export um, go to whatever folder you want 
type out the model and the name that you want. I'm going to call it reference and then click SMD. So I'm going to use an reference. I already have the file. I'm going to save it. I'm going to overwrite it. Now I'm going to export as reference. See, we want to have the top box checked or 